Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be uh, how to clean your pack and play when it's filthy. <laughs> um, I actually got this pack and, pay, pack and play for free from a family friend and it had never been used before but they were storing it in their garage and obviously it got filthy. Like we literally cut the box open but when we opened it it looked like this. So um, I figured before I went and bought a new one I was just going to try to clean this one up just to see how clean I could get it and yeah so this is how i got it clean and it took about a whole day but it did come pretty clean and you'll see that at the end so starting off with like the mat or the mattress pad or whatever you want to call it I didn't want to submerge this um, because I didn't know what the inside material was made of, if it was wood or plastic or whatever, but I did obviously need to clean this very, very well. So I just sprayed it all over with some Dawn Power Wash and then let it sit for just a second, probably like five minutes. And then I just started scrubbing. In hindsight, I do wish I would have rinsed it first because whatever this dirt stain was, was just coming up really easy. So I wish I would have just rinsed that off first and then sprayed it but I mean it turned out fine but this um process is kind of tedious it's just a bunch of scrubbing and waiting and scrubbing and waiting but I will kind of talk you through each step that I did but right here I'm just scrubbing all the stains on the mat So for this first scrub, I did immediately wash it off. I didn't let it sit or anything because it was filthy. And I just wanted to get all that off as quick as I could. And then after I rinsed it off, I put some stain remover on it. Just regular laundry stain remover. And after I sprayed that on, I did let it sit for about 20 minutes. So after I scrubbed it and let it sit about 20 minutes, I just came back in and started rinsing it. This would be much easier if you have a shower head in your tub, but I don't. My shower is separate from my tub, so I'm just using a cup and some really hot water. This step is completely optional, but I do think it helped a ton. I got my upholstery cleaner and I just started extracting all the dirty water and soap and stuff out of the mattress pad and like I said this is completely optional you can just scrub with a brush and then rinse as much as you want I just thought it would be a little bit easier and make sure I got all the water out with using my upholstery cleaner You can kind of see on the bottom that one huge stain is still pretty visible. So I went in with this stain remover and this is the same thing as Miss Mouth stain remover and it's hands down my favorite stain remover. I'll have it linked in the description box below. You can just get it on Amazon but like I said it takes out everything. It's my absolute favorite. So I just propped this up so it would lay kind of flat and then sprayed the Miss Mouths all over it. And then I scrubbed it in just a little bit and then let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
after that had set, I just put the mat back in the bathtub and rinsed it off as well as I could. And once I got everything rinsed off to my liking, I did go back in with my upholstery cleaner and make sure to suck out as much of that dirty water that I could. I did kind of wring it out with my hand just to get as much of the water out as I could. Once it's all clean, you can set it outside in the sun. It was actually really cloudy, so I just let it dry on some towels in my dining room. But now I'm plugging my tub up because I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with as hot of water as I can get in my bathtub. And I'm using some all free and clear laundry detergent as well as about a cup of the borax stain remover stuff in the powder. And I just put that in the water and made sure everything was mixed as good as it could be. And the water will turn real like soft and soapy feeling and that's what you want. That's what's going to pull out all those stains. And now I'm going to go ahead and add in the entire pack and play. Um, I did kind of circle it around, like swish it around and make sure everything was covered and getting soaked with the water. But you are going to cover the entire thing. This step is not entirely necessary. Just leave the tub to fill up over the entire pack and play. My bubbles started getting really big by the faucet, so I'm just kind of swishing them around and trying to even things out as much as I can. Not totally necessary, but... Once the tub is completely full, I'm just going to let it sit for about four to five hours. Just went about my day. I didn't even check on it. I just left it in there. And when I came back at night, all the bubbles had disappeared and the water was gross, but not as bad as I was expecting it to be, quite honestly. Um, there wasn't like a whole bunch of gunk. It was just kind of dirty. So here I'm just going to go ahead and drain all the water out and then once it all gets drained out I'm going to scrub it a little bit with a scrub brush and rinse it off again. And once I get everything completely rinsed off, I'm just going to open the pack and play entirely all the way until it's completely open and let it kind of drip dry in my bathtub. I do think the best thing would probably be to let it soak overnight. That way in the morning you can take it outside and let it sit in the sun to dry. 
but it was night at this point so there was no sun but also it's been really overcast here and there wouldn't be any sun in the daytime anyway but in the sun would probably be the fastest and best way to let it dry I did wipe off a little excess water, but not too terribly much. And that's pretty much it. Um, it was done at this point. I did want to show you where we started before I show you the final reveal because this thing was nasty. Um, I'm pretty sure that was just like a red dirt stain or something. My husband was convinced it was blood, but I did put some peroxide on it and it did not bubble up. So I don't think it was blood. It was just nasty, kind of maybe rusty, a little bit of red dirt. I'm not sure what exactly it was but this is how it turned out and it came extremely clean there were a couple little water spots from where it dried unevenly but i mean it looks a million times better than it did there's no more nasty blood stains no more mud stains on the top or whatever those stains were i think it just looks so much better and i'm so glad to have saved so much money and be able to keep this but thank you so much for watching. I really hope you learned something on how to clean a pack and play. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again. Bye.